Brittany Joy. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Um, before we get started, I do want to tell you guys to make sure you hit that subscribe button. This is my second video, but I have more content to come. Cannot wait to connect with you all. Um, if you want to see how I created this look, please stay tuned. Here comes your video. Thank you. So first to start off with, I'm going to take my Anastasia Brow Gel to go ahead and prime my eyebrows. So I just do that. Then I'm gonna use my Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. Start by getting under that brow. Now, if you notice, when I begin doing my brows, I never start my pencil here. I start it there. And you're going to see why I do it that way when it comes to just blending out that pencil. Um, to me, it just gives it a more natural finish and a cleaner look as opposed to that harsh that harshness that's right there if you start from right there. So stay tuned, you'll see. And then I'm gonna take the end part of that pencil and just blend that out. And as I'm doing that, the product does make its way to the beginning of the brow. So again, because I don't actually start my line and drawing them on <laughs> here, even when I take the end of my brush and do this, it still looks a little natural. All right, guys, so I'm back. The brows are in place. They have been set. They are done, and we are now ready to get on with the look. Brushes, BH Cosmetics. This brush is the number four brush. But before we do that, I do need to prep my lids. I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Um, to get my eyelids in order. And while you're watching, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This is my second video. I have many more to come. I'm so excited. Thank you for tuning in to this one now. And so now we can go ahead and get our look together. This brush is also by BH Cosmetics. I'm actually going to start with this brush. This is a number eight brush. Again, BH Cosmetics. That's where most of my brushes come from. I've been ordering from them for a very, very long time. I love their brushes. They're so soft. Um, they they just, they work. They do what I need them to do. So, first off, we're going to start. We're going to start with this shade here in the bottom corner called Fulani. It's very pretty. It's so pretty. So We're going to start with that shade. We're going to put that just here in the crease. 
Next, we are going to take this really pretty purplish shade. And that is Zobo. That is the shade we are going to use next. I'm gonna stick with my number eight brush. And I'm just going to put that in the outer corner. As you can see. And what I love about this palette so far, it's so pigmented. And I am gonna blend it out into that Fulani color so that it has a better transition. But I really wanna keep it in this outer corner for the most part. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this eye here. All right, so the next shade I am going to use, we are going to go ahead and take a walk on the wild side and play with a little bit of color. So I am going to start with this color here in the shade Zola. Can you guys see that? It's in the shade of Zola. And we're just going to place that here. And we're going to repeat this on the other lid. So after we have that the way that we want it, I am now going to go in with a bit of a softer shade. And that shade that we're going to use is the shade Giza. It's this shade here. That's going to be our finisher. So now that we have each color placed exactly, what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just, um, clean up around here. What I'm going to use to do that is my Specifica Glowing Makeup Wipes. And I'm just going to take that and go like that to clean that up. All right, so now that we have everything as far as like our shadow placed exactly where we like, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my gel eyeliner. The eyeliner we're gonna be using is our black gel eyeliner that I got from Juvia's Place. I have a black one, get that fingerprint off of it. I have a black one as well as a nice brown one that I've used and I like it. Um, both of them are really, really creamy and I just, it's been a while since I've used a gel liner. Um, but when I saw these and I read the reviews, I was like, well, why not give it a try? <laughs> so, um, this is my first time using the black one. Like I said, I've used the brown one, 
So let's kind of take a look here. It's cute. Now I'm gonna do a cat eye. The way that I like to do my cat eyes though, um, just to make sure that they're clean and steady, is I like to put tape on my eye. So I'm gonna apply my tape really quickly. So um, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to doing our foundation, our concealers, our contours, our highlighters, all of that fun stuff. It's literally one of my favorite things about makeup is the whole conceal and contour and highlight. I love it. The foundation it sticks by Julius Place. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and use the shade Maritiana, this one here. I swatched these when I first got them and I was very pleased. What I did, because of course we all know that it's a bit tricky ordering foundations, um, online especially when you've never used those shades before so essentially what i did is they have the bundles and i ordered the tan bundle and so it was six shades for about 80 bucks i'm gonna use this brush here by bh cosmetics in the number three this is my all-time favorite foundation brush to me it just gets my product spread evenly it sticks it stays it does not move so we are going to go ahead. Okay, so now that I have blended out that foundation, um, we are now going to go ahead and apply our concealer. I am using concealer by Juvia's Place as well in the shade 18. Um, use it once and I'm, I must say I like it. It's not very very easy to apply to use the way that I like to do my under eye concealer is just taking it to the halfway point I find that these products especially with this applicator they spread pretty well on their own and so it's like there's really no need to me personally to take it with the applicator all the way across the eye. I am going to go ahead and blend that out with a sponge. All right, so we've blended out our concealer. So next, I am going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer for my contour. And this is in the shade Espresso. And so what I do with that, squeeze just a little bit out and dab it off just a smidget and I like to can you guys see I like to take it from here on down I'm gonna do the same thing And then just a few little lines on this side. And then get this bottom here. 
going to blend that out with my trusty brush. And I usually just start with a dab. And so now that we have blended our contour, now that we've blended out our contour, I am now going to take my setting powder. And I am using setting powder today by Juvia's Place. So as you see, a lot of these products are from Juvia's Place. I just, just, just really, really, um started using their products I, after reading the reviews and just seeing a lot of the tutorials about it and um, I had initially ordered a few products for myself and I was very very pleased I was impressed I thought a lot of the looks were beautiful the palettes were beautiful um, I was like okay fine I'm going to place my order so um, a lot of the products that I am using today is by Juvia's Place. So this is my setting powder with Juvia's Place in the shade Kalahari. So next up for our look, we're going to go ahead and apply our lashes. Um, I just really, really got into lashes. Honestly, it was hard to find like a pair or a style that was comfortable for me. Um, I believe I found that. So, you know, I'm going to try to put on a lash more often when I do my makeup to go out. But we're going to apply our lash. So right now I'm putting on that lash glue. And I'm just using some lash glue by Duo. Um, it's the like the black color it just dries better to me while this is getting a little bit a little bit tacky sticky I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara mascara that I'm using is called damn girl by Too Faced Cosmetics And what I'm going to use to help me get this lash on, because the trick to getting your lash on is to use like a small handheld mirror so that you can see as close to your lash line as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and get this other lash on. I'll be right back. All right. So we have applied our lashes. And um, I'm sorry. I have meant to let you guys know. I ordered these lashes off of the lashes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and apply some eyeliner in our waterline. Um, I'm going to take a walk on the wild side with this bear with me this isn't something that i do often and by that i mean apply white eyeliner but it's supposed to make the eyes pop a little more make that color pop and show so let's see here again to make sure that i'm at the waterline i am going to use my handheld mirror that i have All right, so now we are going to go ahead and apply our blush. The blush I'm gonna be using is the shade Serafina. It is, of course, <laughs> by Juvia's Place. Shade is so, so pretty. Um, it, it just, I love it, I really do. Hands down, one of my favorite blushes right now. The way that I like to put my blush on is I like to smile. I just feel like it gets in on the apples of the cheek right where it's supposed to be. 
All right. So now that we have our blush in place, we are going to do our highlight. And for our highlight, what we are going to be using is the Heroin Glow One. This is how it looks. It is really cute, really pretty, really soft. It does not do too much. And I like to just take this brush here. This brush is by BH Cosmetics as well. Um, it's from their Studio Pro line in, um, and it's the number 18. And we're just gonna add that there. And now I do take a different brush, a much smaller brush when I do the highlight on my nose and that's cute little Cupid's bow area of my lips. And I just take it and pop it there and there. Oh, that is so pretty. Because I love this highlight so much, I am going to put it in the corner of my eye just because and that's it so now that we are pretty much done um, I'm going to set everything in place I'm going to use my morph setting spray gonna spray it kind of a, a ombre effect on the lips I'm gonna first start off by lining my lips and to line my lips I like to use the shade undefeated from Fenty Beauty and I just take it and I start here And I do that just a little bit. I will clean the lip up because I do want the shade that I'm going to put on my lip to show. And the shade that we are going to use for our lips is Candy Yum Yum by MAC. Mm. And there we go. And that's how I create a cute little ombre effect with, the, with my lip stick and lip liner. I feel like this look would have been the perfect lip look for this um, eye look. I like it. So, And guys, that is it. We're done. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs>